check it out. We've got another exclusive glyphosate lab science test here at CWC Labs. This is Mike Adams, the founder of the lab. We are going to see if microwaving can destroy glyphosate. Now we started with this liquid here, which is two parts per million glyphosate in water. Nice, nice big jug of glyphosate. We label it so no one accidentally drinks it. And then, <laughs> then we have different vials here. They're gonna be microwaved for various durations of time using a 700 watt microwave. Now, of course, the lids will come off. Uh, this, actually, this first one won't be microwaved at all. That's our control. So zero minutes of microwaving, then 15 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, and four minutes. And we're going to see, does microwave energy destroy glyphosate? There's a rumor online that you can microwave glyphosate away. Now, I think that rumor is written by people who don't know anything about chemistry, by the way, uh, because I've looked up some of the numbers on you know, glyphosate. It's a very robust, small molecule. It survives almost everything. It even survives human digestion. It comes out in urine and, and breast milk. It is even at, at two parts per million in here. That's a, that's a high enough concentration to do serious damage to your health. That's why no one, you know, would drink this. No sane person anyway. But can you microwave it away? Can you break apart the molecule? Can you destroy it? Can you render it non-toxic? We're going to use a mass spec triple quad instrument here at CWC Labs to find out. So we're going to microwave all these and then we're going to run them through the triple quad mass spec and then see how much glyphosate is remaining. And now I ask you, we're going to show you the results here. I ask you in advance, what do you think is going to happen over four minutes? Do you think the glyphosate level will go down or do you think it'll stay the same? That's the question. Now, my guess is, as someone who works with glyphosate all the time, my guess is that microwaves will not destroy glyphosate. I mean, not, not at a consumer level microwave, you know, 700 watt microwave oven. I don't think this glyphosate is going anywhere, but this is why we do the science so we can find out for sure what's going on. We'll let the instrument tell us the truth and leave our own opinion out of it. When we are done, we're gonna be testing the results on this incredible triple quad mass spec instrument right here, which is, uh, this is the Acuity One uh, chromatography system. These are the sample vials. This is the auto sampler. This is the uptake uh, syringe pump. Actually, these are the, these are the pumps that handle it. Uh, four different pumps, actually just two channels. There's, a, there's an A and a B for each channel, just two channels. Um, a lot of plumbing in here, waste, waste tubing over here on this side, things like that. But this is how it's done. And then it goes into the triple quad mass spec instrument here. And then if our test is a success, we will see the glyphosate peaks, which is what these are right here. I have spiked glyphosate in some chia seeds to see, to make sure the glyphosate signal comes out strong. And I've also spiked it into maca root. And sure enough, these are two different glyphosate peaks. They're huge. This is one part per million. And you notice over here, the response is massive. It's 1.77 times 10 to the eighth, which is like freakishly huge because this instrument is so sensitive. But that's, that's a massive glyphosate peak, a huge amount of response, a lot of data. So we'll be able to tell exactly whether glyphosate is destroyed by microwaving or not. So right now, all of these have been microwaved and we took samples out of here and put them into the auto sampler for the triple quad mass spec. We're running those right now. Let's go take a look at what results we're getting so far. All right, here's what we see so far. This is glyphosate. Let me actually zoom out. This is how the peak looks for the full run. This is a massive glyphosate peak. This is the control sample with no microwaving. Roughly, this is two parts per million, or actually quite precisely. The response is 9.32 times e to the fourth. If we were to do an integration of this and actually get a number, it's 
it would look like this. The response is 20,470. That means that this instrument here detected 20,470 ion fragments of glyphosate. Next, we're going to compare what happens when you start microwaving this water. Does the glyphosate disappear? Can microwave energy destroy glyphosate? My guess is probably no, because glyphosate is a very robust, devious little molecule over here, and it resists microwave energy is my guess. You'd have to heat it to a lot more, but we'll see. Let's take a look. So here we go. Here's our original glyphosate. Now we're going to add in the 15 seconds of microwaving sample, which is in green. And I don't know if you can see a little bit of green here, but it looks like it's basically the same shape. I can turn off the fill so that you can see the outlines. Yeah, sure enough. The green, after 15 seconds of microwaving, it still has almost the exact same peak, very close to the original concentration. Let's see what happens if we add 30 seconds of microwaving. That's the black line that was just added. It also looks almost exactly the same. So, so far, up to 30 seconds of microwaving, we are not destroying the glyphosate. Let's see what happens at 60 seconds. Whoa. At 60 seconds, it's this peak. The concentration of glyphosate is actually going up. It's rising. Remember, the red is the original. This new peak here, that's the level after 60 seconds of microwaving. Now, could that be a fluke? Maybe. There is some variation in quantitation using mass spec analysis. Let's, so let's look at the two minute. Oh, whoa. The two minutes of microwaving now has an even bigger peak. The glyphosate concentration is going up even more. Let's go to four minutes. Oh man, four minutes. This is the new peak here. The glyphosate concentration has skyrocketed compared to the original, which is down here. Let me see if I can actually show these as fills without everything overlapping something else. Yeah, you can sort of see it. So this original red here, that's glyphosate without microwaving. This red here is glyphosate with microwaving. It has substantially increased the concentration. Why is that? Well, the microwave is, of course, boiling off the water, but not boiling off the glyphosate. So the volume of remaining water is being reduced. But the glyphosate that was in the original volume is still there. So in effect, the remaining glyphosate is now more concentrated. So here we have just changing colors. Green is after four minutes of microwaving. Red is no microwaving. Let's quant those separately, at least get a, get a response. All right, there they are in their raw form. Let's go ahead and quant this one. All right, so 20,470, that's the response of our original glyphosate with no microwaving. Now let's see what it is after microwaving. Wow, the new response, 50,279. What does that mean? It more than doubled. It actually went up about 150% over the original concentration. Let me delete these so you can see in the proper scale. Here we go. This is the actual quantitation or what's called integration or area response. 20,470 original glyphosate, no microwaving. 50,279 glyphosate with microwaving. What's the conclusion, folks? Well, turns out that if you microwave your food that has glyphosate in it, the concentration of glyphosate goes up, not down. So glyphosate cannot be destroyed by microwave energy, at least not within four minutes, and probably never. Wow, that was really fascinating. This is a, a test I've been wanting to do for a long time. So now we know that glyphosate is a very robust molecule. It can't be destroyed by microwaving your food. I had read about some people wondering if it could, but it turns out it can't. In fact, if you microwave food with glyphosate in it, it actually increases the concentration of glyphosate, potentially making it much more toxic to your system. Now, 
You see all these vials here? These are some of the samples from our own store, healthrangerstore.com. Just some of the samples that we test for glyphosate. Because we have the world's cleanest foods and superfoods and nutritional supplements. We do this testing every day. Just like I showed you here with the water, we do all of this. And you can see every one of these. This is like chlorella right here. I can tell by the color, obviously. Um, this might be turmeric right here. I'm not sure. Maybe it's got a note. No, it's just a lot number. Sometimes we, we note exactly in text, but usually it's just a lot number. These are all different herbs, nutritional supplements, many different products. And you can see we are dedicated to this testing because we want to bring you clean food without this poison, without this cancer-causing herbicide. We have the technology to do it. And as we just demonstrated here, there's a lot of myths out there about glyphosate. That's why we need to use real science to sort out clean food versus poison food, or water in this case, as we were testing. So the bottom line is, don't microwave your food. It's, it's not helping you get rid of any of the bad stuff. It doesn't get rid of heavy metals, doesn't get rid of herbicide or pesticides, but it probably does destroy some of the phytochemicals, the phyto plant-based nutrients that are good for you like sulforaphane in broccoli, for example. So don't microwave your food and make sure you get your supplements from a trusted source that does the lab testing like we do right here. CWC Labs is the lab. Healthrangerstore.com is the online retailer. Read my website, naturalnews.com, for more straight up science that's been banned by YouTube and banned by Google and banned by Facebook. You can only get it exclusively at naturalnews.com and watch these videos much more to come at brighteon.com. And finally, read glyphosate.news to stay informed about glyphosate science. Thank you for watching. This is Mike Adams here for CWC Labs and naturalnews.com. Almost no one tests their products for glyphosate, but we do at the Health Ranger store. We test for glyphosate for every incoming production lot and finished production batch of products and we put those symbols right on our website so you know it's been glyphosate tested using an ISO accredited in-house laboratory, triple quad mass spec instrumentation, sensitive down below one part per billion. We test and confirm that everything is safe and pure and authentic so that you can trust our products to protect your health. Healthrangerstore.com, over 700 products for healthy living and healthy home. Lab tested, heavy metals, glyphosate, microbiology, and much more. Check it all out healthrangerstore.com.